Before installing any new software, it's always a good idea to update your system to ensure all packages are up to date. Once the process is complete, you can visit the official Genomotion download page and choose the version of Genomotion desktop compatible with Linux. Link in the description. After downloading the .bin file, you need to make it executable and run the following installer. The installer will prompt you to choose an installation directory, simply press enter to accept the default location or specify a custom path and wait for the installation process to complete. Once done, you'll see a success message. Once the installation is complete, you can launch Genomotion from your application menu. When you open Genomotion for the first time, you'll be prompted to log in with your Genomotion account. If you don't have an account, you can create one for free on the Genomotion website. Once logged in, you can start downloading virtual devices and testing your applications. Click on the Add button to create a new device. Select the Android version and device model you want to emulate. Click Next and follow the prompts to complete the setup. Once the virtual device is created, you can start it by clicking the play button. If you no longer need Genomotion on your Ubuntu 24.04 system, you can easily remove it by deleting the installation directory. Genomotion stores configuration files and virtual device data in your home directory. If you added Genomotion to your application menu, you may want to remove its desktop entry.